Hi, my name is Kira Angione from Real Life, and we're here with filmmaker... David Tan. And can you tell us a little bit about your project that you have? Yeah, sure. My film is called Two Blocks From Heaven. Uh, it's about a girl who's been stuck in prostitution in a legal, a legal brothel uh, nearby a church, and that's kind of the setting of the film. Um, and she's, she's weary, she's, she's jaded, she's tired of the life that she's been living, and she's offered a way out. She's offered a way out, and she has to bring up this new girl who will take her place, but when they become friends, it gets kind of complicated. It gets, um, the stakes become more costly. Like, it's not just about her life, but also this other person's life, and she has to navigate through all that conflict, so that's what the film is about. So how did you hear about life? Life? Well, I was just doing web searches, looking for festivals to enter in, and I found life. I was like, oh, I'm from Long Island. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so did you film on Long Island, and where? Uh, I, no, I filmed it in Rochester, upstate New York. Um, yeah, we filmed the whole thing in Rochester, through the winter, the cold. <laughs> So, yeah. So have you filmed at, have you screened at any other festivals or do you have any other plans for this project? Uh, no, I haven't other fi with, in terms of other festivals, but I screened in front of like the organizations that backed my film because my film deals with uh, human trafficking. Mm -hmm. And um, these organizations, they want to show this at the United Nations and stuff like that and want to use it as a tool for awareness and, and um, those kinds of things. It's a really good way to use filmmaking, I yeah, think. It's a great medium. It's a great medium. Yeah. So how do you feel as you approach your screening that's coming up? I'm excited. I'm excited. A little bit of nervous, but mm -hmm. you know, I think that's normal. You know, not sure what people will think and how they'll receive it, but I'm excited for the film. Um, it's got a great story. Uh, people have told me it's 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 compelling and moving too, so that's really good. Yeah. Um, what, so what have you learned from creating this project or do you have any interesting stories from the production that you could tell us? <laughs> well, it's important to... I think uniquely with my film we use smaller cameras, smaller crews and all that kind of stuff because um, about 75%, 80% of the cast are not actors and so to not intimidate the actors so they can do their thing on, on camera. Um, we use smaller um, equipment, smaller sets, smaller crews, so they wouldn't be like afraid to just behave um, in front of camera. So. That was really cool. Well, thank you for coming here and talking to us. Thank you. I'm Kira from Real Life.